Hola, Miss Candeli. Hi, Hazel. Okay. La verdad fue que no entendí que era una, una sesión, eh, era otra sesión de reading. Así que tenían dos sesiones seguidas. Entonces, Valentina no entró a la siguiente sesión. No sé si le dejo alguna asignación o algo. A la de spelling, eh, a la de reading, reading. a la última. Sí. No solamente fue completar lo de la página 2. La, la de 202, completar el ejercicio y enseñarles que había una asignación de la clase ahí en Pearson Realize. Igual se los voy a mandar, eh, la presentación que vemos hoy se la voy a mandar aparte. Y va, y, y va a mandar el, de, el enlace de Pearson para hacer la ¿Sí? asignación. Sí, lo mandé oh. por WhatsApp. Solo que ingresen con el usuario. Ah, es que yo no tengo el WhatsApp, yo no entré, yo no estoy en el WhatsApp. Ah, bueno. Está bien, la vamos a agregar. No se preocupe. Vale, gracias. Vale. Ok. Okay, guys, this is the grammar class, okay? Grammar class. And the topic for this class is the subjects of sentences, okay? Subjects of sentences. Okay, we have this. I'm going to read it, so you need to pay attention, okay? Every sentence has a complete subject. But what is a subject? Okay, the subject tells us who or what the sentences is about, about who we are going to talk about, okay? For example, we have the house. The house is a subject in the sentences. We have the picture, this is a subject. And the name of this subject is house. The other example is the red car, because we talk about the car. So the car is a subject, okay? It's a subject. Is the person, the thing, or the place that we talk about. The other example is the great teacher. What is the subject in this part? Teacher, because we talk about the teacher. The teacher is a person, yes or no? Or is a, a thing, is an animal, is a person, yes. And the car, the car is a person, yes or no? No, oh, the car is a thing. And the house, the house is an animal, yes or no? No, is a, the house is a place or thing, okay? Then we have. The subject is the person, place, or thing that the sentences is about. For example, Fabricio, tell me an example of a person. Tell me an example of a person. Police. Police, excellent, Fabricio, excellent. Uh, Hazel, tell me an example of... Thing, thing, cosas, um, house, house, mm -hmm. house, excellent. Lia Valentina, tell me examples about places, places uh, son lugares, okay, places, tell me an example of places. Wait, I can hear you, no le escucho. No puedo encender su micrófono, no me, no me sale lo que...
Alejandra, tell me an example of person. Person. Uh -huh. Tell me an example of person. Tell me one person. Who is um, next to you? Who is next to you? ¿Quién está a la par suya? Who is next to you? Yo no estaba porque estoy trabajando, pero ahorita me llamó. No sé qué, qué necesitaba. Ah, ok, ok. Wait. Alejandra, tell me an example about person. Mother is, pens, is person. Your what? Mother is Yes, your mother is a person. Thank you. Okay. Alia Valentina, can you hear me? Yes? Alia Valentina? Yes. Tell me examples about things, cosas. Tell me an example. El teléfono. In English, in English. Cell phone. Aha, uh -huh. cell phone. Excellent. Okay, very good. We have other examples uh, here in the presentation, okay? We have this sentence, listen. My mom cooks every morning. Again, my mom cooks every morning. The subject in these sentences or the person that we talk about is mom, mom, okay? The subject is my mom because he's the person who cooks every morning. If in the sentences I have the word Jan, Jan cooks every morning. Who is the subject in the sentences? Obviously Jan, because Jan is the person that is cook every morning. Other example, Maria Fernanda cooks every morning. Who is the subject in the sentences? Maria Fernanda, because Maria Fernanda is a person, right? Yes or no? Yes, excellent. So we have this exercise. Look at the sentences below. Tell where is the complex subject, okay? You are going to tell me where is the subject. Remember, the subject is a person, is a thing and it's a place. Persons can be my mom, my dad, my sister, Maria, Lia Valentina, John, my grandfather, Fabricio. All of them are people, person, okay? And if we talk about places, my school, the park, the police station, the church, all of them are places. And if we talk about things, cosas, pen, is a pen, book, is a thing, the computer, is a thing, the cell phone, is a thing. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Okay? Okay? Then we have this example. Okay? The first one is Fabricio. Fabricio is going to tell me where is the subject in the sentence. Okay, Fabricio, we have the sentences number one. And the sentences number one said. Fabricio, can you hear me? Yes, but I can turn on your audio. No puedo encender el audio, Fabricio. No me, no, no me da... No. Ahí está. Yes. Ok. Uh -huh. The horse. Horse. Uh -huh. Run. Run. In, in the field. The horse ran in the field. Fabricio, tell me. <laughs> what is the subject in these sentences? Hmm? What is the subject? Fire. Remember, the subject. Fire. What? Fire. Mm -mm. What is the subject in the sentence? Remember, the subject is the person, the thing, or the place that we talk about. The horse. Aha, uh -huh. we talk about the horse. So horse is the subject because who is filed? Who is run in the file? The horse. We have the picture of the horse. And the horse is an animal, okay? Very good, Fabricio. Thank you. 
<clears throat> the next is Hassel. Hassel. We, mm -hmm. we have the sentence in number two, Hassel. So, we have this one. The sentence in number two say, the people in the house are having a party. So, mm -hmm. in these sentences, Hassel, which one is the subject? Look, Hassel, we have the people, 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 woman and, and men in mm -hmm. the house are having a party. Who has, who are having a party in the house? Who? Quien? So. The people, excellent. The people has a party in the house, okay? The people is the subject in this sentence, okay? Thank you, Hazel. Alejandra, you are the next. <clears throat> okay, Alejandra. We have these sentences, Alejandra. We have the, wait, wait, I can see. The U.S. president spoke to the American people. Again, I'm going to read it again. The U.S. president spoke to the American people. Okay, Alejandra, tell me, what is the subject in the sentence? Who is talking with American people? Who? Who? Quien? Who's per who is this person that is talking with the, the American people? Hmm? Alejandra? Again, the U.S. president, he is the U.S. president, spoke to the American people. So tell me, what is the subject in the person? Hmm? Mm. The U.S. president spoke to the American people. Which one is the subject? ¿Cuál es el sujeto ahí? The subject. Who is talking with American people? ¿Quién está hablando con, la, con la, las personas ahí? Who? Who? The president. Excellent. The U.S. president, this one, spoke to the American people. The U.S. US president is a person. ¿Ok? ¿Ok, Alejandra? Who is the subject, Alejandra? Who is the subject? Alejandra? U.S. President. Who is the subject, Alejandra? President. 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 Okay, thank you. Uh, Lia Valentina, you are the next. We have this sentence, okay? And the sentence is said, uh, the students of Sagrado Corazón watch the presentation. Again, the students of Sagrado Corazón watch the presentation. So tell me, Lia Valentina, which one is the subject in the sentence? Who? Who is watch the presentation? Hmm? Lia Valentina? Ali. Who? Quien? What is this? Hmm? The what? Who are they? Quienes son ellos? Estos que están aquí. What is the name of they? Los otros. Aha. Uh -huh. But what is the name? You are our teachers? Hmm? Yes. You are a teacher or students? Hmm? 
Teachers or students? Students. Students. Student. So the subject in the sentence is? is Students. Students. Exactly, because the students are watch the presentation. Okay? Yes? Okay. okay. Thank you, Lea Valentina. Okay, listen what we are going to do now. Let me raise this. Okay, we have this last one for Jan. Jan, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, Jan, we have this. Alison likes to play volleyball. So, which one is the subject in the sentences? Who is playing volleyball? Who? Who is playing volleyball? Again, Alison likes to play volleyball. So, who likes plays volleyball? Who? Jan? Alison. Alison. Alison, because Alison is an animal. No. No. What is Alison? Alison is a person. Excellent, Jan. So, Alison is the subject in this sentence. Thank you, Jan. Okay, listen what we are going to do right now. You need to create one sentence. And in these sentences, you need to tell me what is the subject, okay? You need to write in your notebook one sentences or in a separate sheet of paper, okay? In a separate sheet of paper, you need to write one sentences. And when you finish to write the sentences, you need to tell me where is the subject in the sentences that you create. Do you understand me? Yeah. Yes or no? Okay, right now, you need to take your notebook, your pencil, and write a sentence. And after that, you need to tell me where is the subject in your notebook. In a separate sheet of paper or any notebook. En cualquier cuaderno o una hoja separada, donde ustedes quieran. Okay? Because you don't have a grammar notebook, porque ustedes no tienen un cuaderno de grammar. So you can write it in any book, notebook, or in a separate sheet, separate sheet of paper, okay? Do you understand what, what are you going to do? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Again, I'm going to explain again. The instructions say, now you need to create one, just one sentence in your notebook or in separate sheet of paper. And after you create your sentences, you need to tell me where is the subject in your sentences? Because I'm creating my sentences and I show you what are my sentences and explain you where are my subjects. Now is your turn and you need to tell me what is the subject in the sentences that you created. Okay? Did you finish? And no, miss. Okay. Hurry up. Yes, teacher, I finish. Okay, Fernanda Cordova, thank you. Matias, did you finish? Do you no. understand? Do you understand what you are going to do? ¿Entendió lo que va a hacer? Yes. Yes. Okay. So you, you... Me, yo no entendí. Which one, María Fernanda? Okay, María Fernanda. Yes. You need to create one sentence. Okay? Write one sentence in your notebook. Okay? 
created. For example, my mom likes to go to the supermarket. Or I like to swim. Okay? The sentences that you want, you need to create it. Tell me. And after that, you need to tell me what is the subject in your sentence. Okay? You need to tell me about who or what you are going to talk about in your sentence. Aida, did you finish? No. Okay. Dariana, did you finish? Yes. Yes, Dariana? Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, no le entiendo. Usted tiene que decir. ¿Quién no entiende? Alejandra. Alejandra, ¿dónde está Alejandra? Mira, 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 mira. Ajá. Alejandra, pay attention. <laughs> Why? Alejandra, look at me. Alejandra. Alejandra. Vaya, te va a explicar. Alejandra. Finish, Aida. Thank you, Aida. Bye. Ashley, did you finish? Yes or no? What? You don't understand? Okay, Ashley, you need to create one sentence, okay? Like the sentences that I show you, como las oraciones que le enseñé. You need to create one sentence, okay? Yes? The sentences that you want with the words that you want. La oración que usted quiera con las palabras que usted quiera, okay? Yes? Teacher, I am finished, but I don't know it's good. Yeah. Okay, Fernanda Cordova. Don't worry, I'm going to check later. First, I'm okay. Going, okay, thank you. Dana, did you finish? Okay. Matias, did you finish? Yes. Excellent, Matias. Uh, Maria Fernanda, did you finish? No, no. Okay. Lia Valentina, did you finish? Yes. Okay. Um, Jan, did you finish? I did Yes. Okay, excellent. Ashley, are you alone or are you with your mother? Yes. Yes, Ashley. And then you are going to tell me where is that subject? Who is the person that you talk about? Um, Hassel, did you finish? Yes. Excellent. Fabricio, did you finish? Yes, Fernanda Cordova. Yeah. <laughs> Hassel, did you finish? Yes. Okay. Bless you, teacher. Thank you. Okay. And Alejandra, what's happening with Alejandra? Alejandra? Okay, we are going to start with Fabricio. Fabricio, show us your sentences and tell us where is the subject. Okay? Show us and tell that, us. That car is blue. 
The car is blue. Excellent. And what is the subject in these sentences? Car. Excellent, Fabricio. Excellent. Very good, Fabricio. Fabricio, create the sentences. The car is blue. And Fabricio told me that the subject in these sentences is the car, because we talk about the car, okay? Excellent, Fabricio, thank you. Hassel, you are the next. Yes, Tell me, Hassel. The car is red. Again, again? The cat is, the car is red. The cat or the car? Car. The car, the car is red, excellent. And tell me, where is the subject in these sentences? Car. Car, excellent, very good, Hassel, thank you. Hassel, create the sentences, the car is red. And she told me that the subject in these sentences is the car and is correct. Thank you, Hassel. The next is Alejandra. Alejandra, did you finish or no? No. Okay, Alejandra, take your time. Uh, John, it's your turn. John, tell me. Read your sentences, please. The man is cooking. The man is cooking. Excellent. And what is the subject in these sentences? Man. Man. Excellent. Very good, John. John <coughs> created the sentences, the man is cooking. And he told me that the subject in the sentences is the man. And he's correct. Thank you, John. The next is Ashley. Ashley, did you finish? No. No? Okay, don't worry. Yeah, Valentina is My your mother. Turn. My mother. Yeah, Valentina is your turn. Read your sentences and tell me what is the subject. Ma, 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 la, like. My mother's la, my mother likes what? Cook. Cook. My mother likes cook. Uh -huh. And what is the subject in the sentences? Ma. Hmm? Mother. mother. Excellent, Lia Valentina. Lia Valentina create the sentences. My mother likes cook. Cook, right? Yes. Yes. So in the sentences, she told me that the subject is my mother because my mother is cook. Excellent, Lia Valentina. Is correct their sentences. Uh, Maria Fernanda, is your turn. Tell me your sentences, please. Mo my, my, the mom, no, my, my, mom is beautiful. Beautiful. Excellent. My mom beautiful. is beautiful. Now tell me what is the subject in the sentence? My, my mom. The mom. My mom. My mom. My. Mm -hmm. Okay, Maria Fernanda created the sentences, my mom is beautiful. And she told me that the subject in the sentences is my mom. And is correct, Maria Fernanda. Thank you. Matias, it's your turn. Tell me your sentences, Matias. Read it. Matias plays football. Excellent, Matias. Matias plays football. And what is the subject in the sentences, Matias? Matias. Excellent, Matias. So Matias creates the sentences. Matias plays soccer. And he told me that the subject is Matias and is correct. Excellent, Matias. Thank you. The next is Dariana. Dariana, tell me your sentences, please. My uh -huh. cat is, is black. black. Uh -huh. My cat is black. And what is the subject in the sentences, Dariana? Cat. Cat. Excellent. Dariana, create the sentences. My cat is black. 
And she told me that the subject is the cat. Excellent, Dariana. Your sentence is correct. Excellent. Fernanda Cordova, it's your turn. Tell me. Wait, you need to turn on your microphone. Okay, excellent. Tell me, Fernanda. The boy is called a bicycle. In a bicycle. The boy is going to? The boy is going in a bicycle. That boy is going in a bicycle. Excellent. And tell me, what is the subject? The boy. The boy. Excellent. Fernanda Cordova created the sentence, the boy is going in a bicycle. And she told me that the subject is the boy. Is correct, Fernanda Cordova. Thank you. Aida, it's your turn, Aida. Dana. Dana is my friend. Dana is my friend. Excellent. So tell me what is the subject in the sentences? Dana. Dana. Excellent, Aida. Aida create the sentences. Dana is my best, my friend. And she told me that the subject is Dana. And it's correct. Excellent, Aida. Thank you. Dana, it's your turn. Tell me. What? Tell me, Dana. Matias play with his skate. Uh -huh. Matias plays with his Skateboard. Skateboard. Ah, Matias plays with his skateboard. Okay. And what is the subject in the sentences, Dana? Matias. Excellent, Matias. Excellent, Dana. So, Dana created the sentences. Matias is, Matias play uh, with a skateboard, right, Dana? Matias play with a skateboard. And she told me that the subject is Matias. And it's correct. Thank you, Dana. So now you need to look for your book, your readers and writers notebook, this one, okay? This one, you need to look for this book and look the page, I'm going to show you which page. You need to look the page 143. Look for this page, please. 143 in your readers and writers notebook. Ciento This one. Everybody has your book? Ciento Okay, listen what we are going to do. We have subject sentences. Remember, you need to write your name first, okay? Write your name here. Okay, this is a review about, about the presentation that we saw. So, set. Subjects of sentences. A sentence has a naming part. It names a person, place, animal, or thing. The naming part tells who or what the sentence is about. Okay? We have an example here. Pat sees a... Miss. Mande? ¿Podría decirme la página que no estaba aquí en la mesa y la niña no sabe qué página es? 143. Gracias. Aquí está, aquí está el, el número de la página. Page 143. Ok. Again. Remember, write your name first, ok? We have a two examples. Pat sees a dog. And we have that the subject or the naming part is Pat. Pat is the person that we talk about. In the second sentence we have, the dog is big. 
And the naming part is the dog, because we talk about the dog and the dog is an animal. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Excellent. So we have, sent. how many sentences we have? In this page, how many? We have six sentences. Five, five, five. five. Excellent, we have five, five sentences. Excellent. So in the sentences number one, yes, look the sentences number one. The instructions say, write a name in part of each sentence. So we have the sentences number one and said, Please turn on your, your microphones, please. Enciendan todos sus micrófonos, pero ahorita van a estar en... Prestando atención. Yes. Ok. The sentence number one, the sentence number one say, My dog is sick. And who is the subject in the sentences? About who the dog. The dog. The dog. Excellent. So in the line, we are going to write the word dog. D O G. Because we talk about dog. And we have the image of that dog because dog is an animal. In the sentence number two, we have a vet can help the dog. A vet. This is a vet. Who is the subject in the sentence number two? Who is the subject in the sentence number two? A vet. A vet. Excellent. We are going to write the word vet. B E T. No, Yes, I, I, sí, yo dije que lo Finish. Number three. Pero si les dije que lo encendieran, no para responderme lo que yo les preguntara, no para hacer eh, eh, cosas. Para responder con la diabla. Pregunta. Ok, number three. We have, we go to the bed. Who is the subject in the sentence number three? We go to the bed. We, 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 so we go to the bed. Excellent. W E. Finish? Yes. Excellent. In the sentence number four, we have that dog feels better. Who is the subject in the sentence number four? Dog. 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 Excellent. So we are going to write the word dog. D O N G. Dog. Dog. Excellent. The dog feels better because no. of the animal. In the last one sentence, in the number five, we have, my dad thanks the vet. My dad thanks the vet. Who is the subject? Dad. 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 Excellent. Dad. Write that word, dad, please. D A N D. Okay. After